Well, I'm Tom. I'm from France and I'm snowkiting since 10 years now. Snowkiting is, is basically the usage of a power kite on snow. You can use it with skis, snowboard, yeah, your, your normal ski equipment basically. I've been involved in snowkiting since the beginning, big, really of it. Um, starting working with kite, trimming, doing all that stuff, trying to promote the sport as well. And then getting experience, more experience. And now I'm designing kites. I'm, I was basically born in the Alps, so I've lived in the mountain yeah, all my life basically. Been skiing really young, started at three, and then starting snowboarding. And then I see these this flying things coming along, and I just think, oh, maybe that could be nice. I first flew a kite 10 years ago. A friend of mine just lent me one of these uh, quadrifoil C1, and I then really, really see the potential of what could be done with the power of this kite, really. You can climb up mountains with kite, you can just cruise along on, on big plateaus like here in, Nor in Norway. You don't have to wait for the for the chairlift, you don't have to pay any tickets, you don't have to be with people waiting in the queue. And yeah, that's probably the, the best thing really. More freedom. When you've started to discover the, the, the possibility of a kite, which means, I mean, climb, climbing up mountains with a kite, it's just, yeah, enormous. Basically, we can climb up 1,000 meters in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whereas skinning up will take two, three hours. So that just really open a big, wide uh, playground, basically. What is good about uh, this place in Norway, Arden Gavila, is uh, well, it's so big, really. And any wind direction, you'll find some good place, good wind lead to play with. It's it's a good spot as well because beginners can yeah, just start there on the flat bits and then as soon as they progress you can just start climbing up the little hills and then jump off them and then yeah, it's a very diverse uh, sort of kiting you can do here really. I think that kiting is bringing more freedom into the winter sport because you don't need to go into special uh, installation, I mean resort, all that sort of thing. So you can just drive, oh, here is a snow field, just stop, putting out your kite and then off, off you go.